What's going on, Screaming Eagles? It's Jet Eagle 101 here with Sanctorum 7124. Howdy, YouTube. How's it going? In our last video, we saw the true face of the cycle. It was Josh the whole time. Apparently, everything he did and how he died was just all special effects from movie props and guts mm. from a pig. We explained the light bulb catalog in the basement. Mm -hmm. But, you know. But now, currently, he is tied up in the middle of the shed, and Mike is spending the night with that crazy psycho. And it's. Always off his meds. And it's revealed that Chris and Ashley are alive, and Emily is alive, too. So. Oh, yeah. And last, what we saw with Emily is she was encountering the stranger with a flamethrower. Yep, so now we're with Emily, and we're gonna find out what happened here. I feel like that we should trust him. Should we? I feel like we should trust him. He, se he seems like he knows what he's doing. I mean, like, it's not my, exactly my first impression of meeting a guy that has goggles on, mask on, and carrying a flamethrower. Not a first impression of trust, I should say, but... I the, mean, he, he's got fire, and we've seen some scarier things. Ah, uh, you gotta remember, we saw a premonition where Emily dies by fire. That is true. So, we gotta be really careful. Well, let's find out what happens. Now, before we do that, I just want to remind you guys, if you like the game so far, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit it down in the comment section. If you want to be part of the Screaming Eagles for more exclusive content, mm. hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification mm. for more upcoming videos by Jetical 101 Now, let's resume the story. No! Don't do it! Three hours. It's back! Oh! No! No! Ah! Use these! What? Did he give you flares or something? Oh shit! Oh shit! Speaking of flares, where's oh, that? Boy. Good question. Oh, shit! Yep, they are road flares. Really? You're gonna mess <laughs> Oh my god. Oh yeah, right considering now. she lost Let's her torch go. and everything. Um, well, I guess we should thank the stranger for giving us flares. I guess. But still not exactly my first impression of meeting somebody. Well, yeah, I kind of was like, hey, you know, I'm not going to hurt you. I didn't really her. say that. Um, That's a fortune. That was Mike with a gun. Yeah, I think I think he's gonna go crazy in the shed with uh, Josh over there. So that's kind of a pick or choose moment. Do you want to go crazy with him, or do you want to stay sane? I'd rather stay sane and keep my mic still. So now I gotta figure out which way we gotta go. We either go this way, or we go down that way. I don't remember. Guess we'll find out. I suppose so. And we, we got a bag of road flares. I think we'll be okay. Well, there's nothing over here. Huh? We're taking a look. Well, and there's nothing around here either. So, I guess we make do. Should have flown. Mm-hmm. I guess we go. I guess we go the other way then. So, what's over here then? God, uh, it's still too early. Mm hmm. Even though it's almost noon. Yeah. Oof. So, what do you think, like, so far as, we, as we're in? I think. Oh! Don't go near the wall. That, that that was a dumb choice. I didn't even go near it. It just kind of spooked you, huh? Yeah. Uh, there's something over here. <coughs> okay. Oh, there's okay, a gap. This is gonna be the way. See, I'm kind of. Whoa, what the hell is that? Shit. Oh, 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 oh. I think I should. 
we go. Oh, right into the service elevator, too. Pull it. Pull it. I am pulling it. Ah! And there's no power to it. Oh, oh there is. Oh god. Oh god. Whew. I don't know how this one takes to the server. Okay. Step out of it. Shit. Um, uh, oh my goodness. What's that? Yeah, I don't know how are you. Screaming bloody are, are you murder. Okay? You look totally won. There was something. Where's that? Come sit down. Sit down. Something's out there. Did you there. guys split up? A monster. It's a Wait. Monster. Wait. Uh, should I be confused or concerned? I'd be confused. That's kind of a confusing moment. What are you talking about? I said there's something out like there. Like what? Ash, relax. It was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me, and it wasn't human. Hold on. I would be concerned, where's Matt? Yeah, I'd be like, where, where is Matt? Wait, Em, where's Matt? Is he okay? Matt, oh God, we, we couldn't use the cable car, so we climbed the tower and then it fell and we were down in the mine, like way down, down in this terrifying freaking mine shaft. Hold on, hold on. And, and then it, it was Matt and me down there and, oh God, I think that Matt might be dead. Wait, what? How? Emily, what happened? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and then it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's Whoa. head, I found oh it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died, like, what? from the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks. When we were all up here looking for her, and we had no idea. <sighs> That's horrible. Hmm. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio, and and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. Em, you made it. Oh God, yeah, yeah, Mike. <sighs> what about Matt? We're trying to figure that out. Yeah, and then there was this monster that was chasing her. I... She's all messed up, guys. 
Emily? Hey, Em? Whoa. Who's pounding? Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess? It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. <laughs> oh, it's the stranger guy. Fucking let him in. Yeah. I think there was a premonition that we let him in, so... Just... Yeah, I remember. Uh... Man? Uh... I'd suggest. Alright. Let's go, okay. guys. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Oh. Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. Alright. Oh, ha, ha. Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Who oh, is this fella? Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right. He just right. disarms you like it's nothing. Take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I I'm here to tell bit. you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have returned. I don't know why you did after what happened last year. You mean with Hannah and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? Huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. <clears throat> now I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. Mm. I got reasons I wanna get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. Everything you've been seeing. Yeah. You're gonna need to find somewhere safe. The basement might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. Fucking leave him. A lot can happen quickly on this Piece mountain. Mm-hmm. No. I'm gonna go get him. You can't go out there, Chris. I'm supposed to be his best friend, and, and, and I let him down. No, he let you down, Chris. He let all of us down. I don't care. I'm going to get him. Then I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. You're going alone is suicide. Fine. The rest of you, this is, get this down to the basement. Huge. Be safe. We're don't go outside again until we're moments. back. And you're gonna want to stay still. You don't seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Uh... Yeah, I think so. You need to follow me and do everything I tell you. You know, he doesn't even say his name. Nope. Ooh, shotgun. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me. I know. <laughs> hey. Come back safe. Kiss her. Ooh. We need to hurry, son. I, uh... See you soon. So, so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's, uh, 
What, what, what's the guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. All right. Follow yeah. the stranger with the flame so, who gave me a shotgun. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you'll be shooting it a long time. You, you mean this thing won't even kill it? No, but it'll slow it down. Well, how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them, if you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Mm. That's one way to look at it. Well, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Well, they adhere to some patterns, like any animal or human. Well, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Well, obviously, if they're afraid of fire, yeah. they're not like the sun. Pro all Wendigo right. tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Oh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that. I can't see you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Yeah, I didn't test that out very well, but I didn't hold the controllers straight when I was playing as Emily. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, so, it didn't turn out very nice, you know, did it? No, I got another chase. These things, Wendigos, are or, or were human, do they, they still have some aspect of humanity in them? Well, they retain certain things. Uh, I mean, is it really right to kill them? <laughs> he got out. <laughs> they surrender human rights to one, oh. one another. Yeah, there's no like cure, there's no redemption. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. We gotta go. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then... He strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. So the lodge, then. Yeah. Let's go now. Back to the lodge. It might still be near. the stranger um as he said ah, forget it yeah fine the, uh, shotgun's only gonna slow it down all right thought there was something useful in here so unfortunately not wait oh damn it yeah. run Go! Now! Now! Oh, my shit! What the hell? Back! God damn! We're right out in the open. Gotta get out of here! Ah! Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God! No, he did. Oh, we lost the stranger. Oh. Fly by the Oh, shit. Oh, there's 
Well, Pain Tanks are dead. See that? Ash! Ash! Oh, thank God, please. Let, let me in quick. Oh, I've seen this pump edition oh, before. Chris! Oh my God, what happened? We gotta, we gotta go. That thing was like right behind me. Oh! Go, 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 go! go. Or Wendigo is their uh, Native American spirits. I thought you were supposed to have like a ward spirit or something. Like a symbol. Yeah, uh, symbols of a deer can ward them away. Oh my god, guys, thank god. It took you so long. Yeah, it was a hotel. It's not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? Uh, yeah, he, uh... He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing, it uh, tore him apart. Right in front of me. Oh, god. Hmm. All right. These are all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, yeah? All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning? People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's gotta have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike, it's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives and Huh. M. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And hmm. what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You've been a cave in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Em? Em, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. What? Em, oh my god, oh my god, it's, oh it's my nothing. god. It's oh nothing. No. It just it, oh it no, bit no. me and... It bit you? What bit you? The... the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, mm. if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, no, he exactly said that. Remember. Is that how it worked? Yes. It happens if it bit you, you're gonna turn into one, and then you're gonna turn on us. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. <laughs> Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do, and I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? Hmm. Door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with- Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, no. whoa, whoa, Mike? Oh wait, Calm Prime down. Mission. You're- You're gonna shoot me? <sighs> I mean, like me? Like that, this but, um... is the safe room, M. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this. 
I'm really sorry. I'm not gonna shoot it, you know? Because I don't think that's how it works. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh my god. You did the right thing. I hope you did. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. No one leave. Okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Hmm. Oof. That was intense. Yeah. What's going on with Ashley? I thought that that he was gonna help us. With a flamethrower, dude? Now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've gotta be tough. We've gotta do this. <coughs> I don't know if okay. I can. So let's do a little looking around on these guys. This journal is an account of the Wendigo. The creatures is real and dangerous. If you are reading this, you will have questions, but I do not have all the answers. This is all evidence and stories of my own experience. I am... man found dead. Uh, I am the only. Hmm. Whoa. Only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man who has ever kept them under control. Heed these words or this show guy's a little guys. OCD. Bitch, I was reading that. <laughs> Heed these words. And your death will not be the last. The Wendigo must not must be contained. Must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism when a human is desperate and craves food. Trapped on the mountain in the fierce winter storms. When he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit will begin to possess him. Even the strongest man is weak to it. He will kill without remorse often those companions who have traveled with him. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. I have seen this happen many years ago. A craving for flesh that cannot be sated. And then the change begins. The eyes turn first and become milky and white. The teeth become longer like fangs. The creature grows and the skin is pulled Thou across, across the bones. bones. Stronger than human skin. He crossed it out, but you can see it. Yeah. There's a tribe that lived in these mountains, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born There's in There's a lot of history to this. God damn it. Let him read it. The tribe respected the mountain and, all the, and all the animals which lived on it. The mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred. Also, the Cree believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. Okay. In 1893, miners arrived. They had found tin and... Later traces of radium. Yeah, tin and radium, that's what it was. They mined deep in the sacred mountain. The Cree say the mountain cried out and the spirit was released. Okay. Wow, there's a lot. Combat. Learn how to fight these things. The Wendigo's eyes change. They both become sharper. This says that because the Wendigos are mutated from humans, when they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Hmm. God damn it. Come on, Ashley. Let's... The Wendigo, so both sharper and more dim. The Wendigo sees movement as a hunter like a hawk, but it cannot see stillness. If you are totally still, then the Wendigo will not be able to see you. The skin and flesh of the Wendigo are hard like armor. They seem to feel no pain. They cannot be cut or stabbed. Even bullets will not pierce their skin, though a shotgun will keep them at bay. Because the Wendigo is mutated from a human, it knows how to hunt us. It can perfectly mimic its prey. You must remain sharp and disciplined. Mm -hmm. I've killed six Wendigos. Knives or bullets will not harm them. Use a flamethrower. It's the best weapon. Fire envelops them, oh, burns away their skin, and makes them weak. 
but try not to kill him. Killing a Wendigo should be the last resort. Death releases the Wendigo spirit into the air. I have contained them. I used traps to catch them and fire to drive them into cages. The traps were baited with human limbs from those who had no further use for them. One by one, I caught those who who had infested the mountain. So he captured them and put them in cages, but somehow they got out. There may be defenses. Oh. Shamans wrote of rituals. I have found native artifacts on the mountain and copied them. Totems, bunches of herbs and feathers. I copied their designs. I have tested them out on the mountain. They work. They keep the Wendigo at bay. Not entirely, but enough. But inside buildings, they do not work. Engravings is saying anything. What happens if one gets bitten? Um, Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat flesh of another, and there is no other way. So it's harmless. Basically, the bite itself is harmless. Just uh, keep her away from eating each other. Got it. Good to know. Yeah, I'm out of coffee. And he hi highlighted it, so it is harmless, so that's good to know. Um, oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What is it? What does it say? Uh, reassure. Yeah. It says that the bites, it, if it bites you, it's not infectious. It doesn't do anything. Let me see uh, that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh-oh. Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Michael almost shot me, is that she fine? She didn't chew you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair, she was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None a, of us know. There's no excuse, there's no excuse for Emily. This. Please, just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. Oh, <laughs> fucking Christ. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Damn it, Emily, you bitch. Shit. Oh, yeah. Shit, shit, shit. We've got to get to Mike. Like, now. Why? Well, take the gun. Jeez. Yeah, that gun ain't gonna do shit. I still need to take the gun for any, for any reason. I know it's not a shotgun, but... Oh, Joshua. You and now there's trees inside the building. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death, or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Hmm. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help them. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. Now it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Hmm. game has gone terribly wrong and your friends like your sisters have deserted you you're all alone can you feel how cold your loneliness has become huh? mm -hmm. why did you hurt them Joshua why did you hurt them uh, what do you think? I mean, really, he didn't hurt anybody. But they... They kind of did hurt him, in a way. I would say they hurt me. Yeah. They did kill his sisters. But they didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry at least until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. 
And not your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you from something even worse than death itself. Hmm. All right, that's the end of that chapter. Yep, it is. So, with that, we're going to end the video from right here. I all hope you enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button. If you got something to say about it, hit it down in the comment section. Want to be part of the Screaming Eagles for more exclusive content? Hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more upcoming videos by Jedigo101. Later, YouTube. Have a good one.